a pocket Morris code tutor from MFJ. This time on KMRD Radio Stuff. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before and haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. Guys, today I want to show you a little something that Richard from MFJ gave me. Uh, it's just kind of slipped in the bag as they happen uh, at uh, Hamvention. This is a little Morris Code Pocket Tutor. And it just kind of teaches you from beginner to advanced uh, how to learn and listen uh, and decipher Morse code, which is great for me. Uh, I've been trying to learn Morse code all year, although not quite active. Uh, I do have a membership to Long Island CW Club. I've been on it zero times. Just doesn't fit with my schedule. They have like Monday night classes for beginners and it's just not in a time when I'm available to get on. So I thought this would be a great solution because I can sit there, I can listen to the dips and dahs whenever the heck I want and I don't have to wait for someone else to do it. So it starts off very easy. There's a bunch of beginner settings and then there's more advanced settings and numbers and pro signs and all that kind of stuff. All with just a little three button interface and a little uh, wheel here. So let's hop over on the bench. I will show you all about this guy. Stay tuned. So here we are. This is the MFJ 418 Morris Code Tutor. Comes in that box and it comes with a piece of paper that says go download your manual online you dweeb. Okay? Enough of that. So it's a very very basic thing. Okay? Here's your battery compartment. Houses a 9 volt battery and here is all of your little function buttons. So we've got a little on off uh, and volume wheel here. Okay? So you can hear it click as we turn it on. You got a headphone jack there, so when you're rocking out in the office, people think you're listening to your, uh, your awesome heavy metal music. You're actually listening to Morris Code, and uh, you'll look uh, just like an idiot like I do. <laughs> and then you've got three buttons that are gonna cycle through all of the different functions on here. And let's look at that, so let's turn it on here. And it might be a little hard to see on camera here, but so basically we have a next and previous and a select button. And that's all we're going to use. So let's get back to the very beginning. So the first the first setting here is we can just we can just set the overall speed of the words per minute. And you're simply going to hit the select button. And it's this function is going to be the same for all of these. So you hit the select button. Notice how there's a little black thing. So that means that this menu is enabled. So we can hit the next or the previous to increase or decrease. Uh, the settings, okay, and then we can hit the uh, select button again to save that setting, okay. Then we can go up, so now we have the Farnsworth on. Again, press the select button, we get the little black box blinking, change our words per minute there, okay. Hit select again to save it. Here we can set the CW tone, it goes anywhere from I think, uh, oh, where does it go? Oh, it'll pretty much go anywhere. So, whatever you want your tone to be at. I'll just leave it at 700, that's kind of where I like it. The next uh, menu here, notice how it says set for beginner. So basically what this is gonna do, this is the very first setting that you'd wanna go to as a, as a beginner, okay? So it's, it's gonna key out once you get, once you hit play, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. It's gonna basically key out only these letters, uh, I think it does it three times, and then it will do what is called a group of a letter or a grouping of letters rather, and you'll see all that uh, in, in just a second. So you have beginner one, we can uh, hit the select, so now we can cycle through all these menus. So then we have beginner two, which is all these letters. Then we have beginner three, which is all of these. Then we have beginner four, which is all of these. And then we have the first five numbers, the second five numbers, some pro signs, more pro signs and these all just as you progress there's a way to group all these but these are all the different menus so if I only want to know learn those it's only going to learn those and, and same thing with all of these different menus okay then it, and it just keeps going with the different uh, pro signs then we get to more advanced so it's going to give you the advanced letters which is just going to be like all the letters and then we have all the numbers then we have all the pro signs and then we have letters and numbers letters and pro signs, numbers and pro signs, uh, FCC characters, I think uh, that just throws anything out at you, uh, and then all characters, call signs, so it'll just spit out random call signs, 
words. QSOs, so this thing will actually kind of simulate a QSO for you, so you can just listen to QSOs uh, whenever you have the time on, on your own time. Uh, and then you can do custom presets, which I haven't do uh, dove into, but there's a couple different custom menus you can do. So that's it. So now let's show you uh, the next menu. So let's actually, I need to do the second group to show you this. So I'm gonna select that. Now this combine button, so say I already learned beginner lesson one, okay? I could jump up to beginner lesson two, but let's say now I've learned them both. Well, if I'm on beginner two, it's just gonna play beginner two. If, I, if I'm on beginner one, it's just gonna play beginner one or whatever you have it set on, right? So let's say we're on beginner two. If I turn this combine on, now it's gonna play all the characters from beginner one and beginner two. So uh, you're advancing a little bit more like that. So again, we hit the select, turn it on by either of the up or down buttons there, hit select again. Now that menu function is on. Going up, group five characters. So after, it's gonna play whatever the, uh, it's gonna play your character, so we have uh, beginner one and two on and then after, so it's gonna play all the characters from beginner one and two three times and then it'll start uh, spitting out five character combinations and they're not necessarily gonna be words they're just gonna be five characters really just uh, just spit fire them at you so um, for the demo let's go back whoops So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna turn combine off. I just want you to know that you can do that. And we'll go back to beginner one, just to show you what this does. Uh, interactive on every, every word, it's set for two words right now, but basically when it spits out those grouped characters, it's just gonna keep spitting them out if you don't set this. So you can have interactive off and it's just gonna keep spitting out a bunch of uh, jumbled up uh, a bunch of bunched up characters. But if you turn it on, let's say after every two words, and they're not necessarily words, it'll stop so you can kind of have a, <laughs> a mental break there. So I'll show you. So now we hit new play. I'm gonna hit the red button. Whoops, I'm gonna hit, uh, what is it, select there. So it's gonna do all those characters three times, and then it's gonna fire because we set the group at five. It's gonna shoot five of them really quick, and it's gonna do that twice because we turned interactive on for two, and then it'll stop. And now it's halted because we changed it to group. So now let me show you a little more advanced. We can just long press and stop to get out of there. And if we wanted to repeat what it did the last time, we would hit repeat play. That's so there's new play and repeat play. So let's go back to the set here and we'll just jump up. Let's say you're advanced and we'll go all the way to so again, it'll, it'll spit out letters and pro signs, letters and numbers. Let's do letters and numbers real quick. And then I'll show you the QSO because I think that's really cool. And we'll hit new play. So it's just shooting out letters and numbers at us. And it'll just keep going and going forever. Okay. But the really cool thing, once you, once you really start getting up to speed, well, maybe what is it like to actually have a QSO with someone? So if you put this on QSOs, watch what happens. This is cool.
Okay, so. How cool is that? It just takes you through a whole freaking CUSO so you can just sit there and listen in wherever the heck you are if you're away from a radio and just really brush up on your skills for receiving. That For me, that's the issue. I can send, but receiving is, that's a whole other story. So this thing is so cool and just super easy to use. Compact, lightweight, it's about the size of a deck of cards. Well, here, what is it? Here's a Bofang for scale. It is approximately one Bofang. There you are, okay? It's one Bofang. Awesome, so cool. So how cool is that, huh? A little tiny pocket, it's like a pocket fisherman, but it's a pocket CW man. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, you know, something like this is gonna give you the time to practice CW whenever the heck you want. So who knows, maybe you guys will hear me on the air uh, on CW sooner than later. I wouldn't count on it. Uh, <laughs> But stuff like this, you know, this is perfect for me. Uh, I really do want to learn CW and it's just a matter of being able to take the time and sit down and just listen and having the, the, the display come up there, right, what it's saying, having the QSOs and just starting with, you know, the most common letters uh, to the least common letters and just kind of learning that way and the Farnsworth method and all that stuff. Uh, who knows, maybe by the end of the year I will be proficient in CW. So. Uh, all you guys ragging on me about learning. I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> but yeah, man, cool. So, Richard, thank you at MFJ for uh, letting us play with this thing. This is a really cool gadget. I will leave a link to this in the description if you want to pick one up. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.